We eat 1.5 kg of food every day. That's around 550 kg of food in a year. This is more than the total weight of two zebras. All this food is required for the cells in our body. Cells utilize this food and make energy. If our cells don't get the food we eat, we won't have the energy to carry out our daily tasks. Now, after the cells have utilized all the nutrients from the food, our body throws out the waste in the form of stools. So, how does the food we eat every day magically turn into waste inside our body? To know this, we have to understand the digestive system. Come, let's get started. So say you ate a sandwich for breakfast. Can your cells directly make use of the sandwich and give you that energy? No, the sandwich needs to be broken down to smaller molecules that can be absorbed by the cells. This is exactly what the digestive system does. It breaks down food and makes it fit for the consumption of cells in our body. So what is the digestive system? The digestive system is like a factory inside our body made up of all different machines or we can say organs, glands and tissues that manage the task of nourishing our body. Food is passed from one organ to the other and is deconstructed to form basic molecules like carbohydrates, proteins, fats and nucleic acids. These molecules are something that the cells can use for their functioning. Now there are seven main organs in the digestive system. The mouth, the esophagus, the stomach, the small intestine, the large intestine, the rectum and lastly the anus. Since they are all connected to each other, it is called the elementary canal and commonly also known as the gut. Now, did you know the entire gut or the elementary canal from your mouth to your anus is 9 meters in length and the sandwich you ate passes through this 9 meter long tube. Along with the seven main organs, there are three glands, the liver, the pancreas and the gallbladder that assist in the process of digestion. They secrete chemicals that help convert the sandwich to carbohydrates and protein. So, the actual process of digestion starts even before you put that sandwich in your mouth. Have you ever had a gush of saliva in your mouth just by looking at food or just by thinking about it? Taking a bite of the sandwich and chewing it helps grind the food into smaller bits. So, think of your teeth as the mixer grinder. Saliva in your mouth makes the food soft and it also has enzymes that break down complex carbohydrates into simpler ones. This ball of food is then passed down through the esophagus and with a lot of muscle contraction and relaxation, it reaches the stomach. Now, what is the stomach? The stomach is a muscular sac where the food comes in contact with a lot of gastric juices. Our body makes nearly 4 litres of gastric juices every day. These gastric juices also contain enzymes to break down proteins. Once broken, the food is then pushed into the small intestine. The small intestine is 20 feet in length. That's the height of nearly 3 adults and 1 baby stacked on top of each other. In the small intestine, the food is further mixed with other enzymes like bile and pancreatic juices which further break down the food into its smallest component. Now this is fit for absorption by the cells. So most of the nutrients in the food along with water are all absorbed by the walls of the small intestine and whatever nutrients could not be absorbed here are further passed down to the large intestine. Large intestine mainly absorbs the leftover water content and breaks down fiber in the food. When the cells have absorbed all the nutrients, the leftover content is called waste or excreta and in common terms we call it poop. This is then passed out from our body through the anus. So how much time does it take for the food to be completely digested? Now that depends on what you've eaten. The sandwich you ate might take 6 to 8 hours to pass through the stomach, small intestine and large intestine. It might even sit in the large intestine for a day before waste is passed out of the body. Did you know it takes just 20 minutes for your stomach to break down watermelon and push it further, whereas it takes 4 hours for your stomach to break down chicken. 
the total time any food can stay in our system can vary between 1 to 3 days depending on the type of food so you may wonder how to improve digestion simple eat more greens fruits and grains limit the consumption of red meat and processed food drink plenty of water add probiotics to your diet exercise daily and get enough sleep right now i think you might be hungry but before you go eat hit the like button and subscribe to let's chew See you later.